This may have been a huge waste of money. Uh, I'm about to find out. Hey, how's it going? So I want to make what I thought would be a simple change on the Mr. Clean. And that is I wanted to replace this fly screen with just a small, simple headlight cover. And so I found a headlight cover that I liked. I ordered it. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't have it in chrome. I wanted to have a, a black and chrome headlight cover to match the rest of the bike. Um, and since they didn't have it in chrome, I decided I would just order it in black and then get it vinyl wrapped. And so I dropped it off to be vinyl wrapped. I'm about to go pick it up. I'll come back, put it on, we'll see how it looked. But on the way over there, I'll talk a little bit about what I bought, uh, how much it cost, and some of the issues I've had getting this done. Okay, so here's the situation. So I wanted to get a headlight cover, like I mentioned, to replace this fly screen in the front. Uh, the reason being, I wanted something that looks a little bit cleaner, something that will hide the wires better, hide the brackets, just, I think it'll look a little bit better. And then also, I wanted it black and chrome to match the bike. I've been just doing the bike to make everything black and chrome. So I've been blacking out parts that are like, you know, aluminum looking or the gray looking parts I've been blacking out. And so I searched around trying to find a headlight cover and I found one that I really liked. What I didn't want, I didn't want anything too big. I didn't want any fairings. I didn't want anything that came really far back on the bike. I wanted something pretty simple, small, just to cover this area up here. So I finally found something made by Autolog. And on their website, they had listed for a whole bunch of just different colors for different types of Royal Enfields to match. So the Rocker Red, the Ice Queen, but I didn't see anything for Mr. Clean, anything in Chrome. So I sent them an email and they were really good. They replied back the very same day and they let me know that they no longer offered a Chrome version due to quality issues. I guess they were using a Chrome paint and they had issues with it bubbling or peeling, things like that. I thought about it. And the next day I placed the order for an all black version. So they had one that was just all black. And the idea was I was gonna get that and then do a chrome vinyl wrap on it. The price for it was actually very reasonable. It was only like 75 bucks for the headlight cover, which if you look at motorcycle parts, you know that's pretty cheap. Uh, where it gets you though is the shipping. The shipping was $125. So that brought the total price for the headlight cover up to 200 bucks. But that was fine. I mean, when I was looking at headlight covers, they seemed to be in the two to $300 range anyway. So I placed the order and Autolog design is great. They don't keep them in stock, they make them to order. But what was really great is from the day I placed the order to the day I received it was three weeks exactly, which is pretty good. And what I really liked about what they did, they provide you regular updates of the production along the way. So you'll receive emails letting you know that it's in the molding phase, another email letting you know it's in the painting phase, then letting you know when it shipped. In comparison, about a month ago, I placed an order for uh, Bach motorcycle side panels. They also make things to order, they don't keep them in stock, but I have no idea where we are in the process. You know, since I placed the order, there's no updates letting you know. So you just have to wait until eventually you get an email letting you know that it shipped. I mean, it's to be expected, but a little more communication would be nice. And that's what I liked about Autolog design. So anyways, I placed the order, I received it, opened it up, all excited, and here was the first issue. I pull it out of the box and they have painted the front rim gold, which I did not want. I mean, the reason why I ordered it all black is like I mentioned, I've been trying to change this bike just to black and chrome. You know, I don't mind the gold stripes here, but I got rid of like the gold badge. I could cover it up the gold and the shocks and I did not want gold. And I think what happened was that they were trying to be nice. I think when I placed the order, they saw the email associated with the order. They remembered that I had sent them an email asking about a Mr. Clean version the day before. And I think they just took upon themselves to paint the rim gold. Now I have to say they did a great job. The paint job came out amazing. It matches perfectly with the bike. I just didn't want that. So I just wish they would have uh, asked before taking the initiative. But anyway, not a big deal. 
So my first real mistake when I say that this may have been a huge waste of money is I tried to do the chrome wrap myself. And if anybody's tried to do any vinyl wrapping, specifically in chrome is very, very difficult. It's hard to get it to look good. Uh, chrome vinyl doesn't stretch like most vinyls. So it's a little bit more difficult to stretch. And what you have is issues with ruining the chrome finish. It gets like a cloudy look if you stick it and lift it to try to reposition. And it, I also tried to wrap the whole thing in one piece rather than separate pieces, which then just made it more difficult. And long story short, the results were just horrible. They just looked really bad. So I wasted a lot of money trying to do it myself, buying the vinyl, buying some of the things I needed to do the vinyl wrap, only to now have dropped it off at a place that's doing it for me, but they're not cheap. It's very expensive. Uh, honestly, the total that I'm paying for everything, if I knew that price up front, I would have gone a different direction. I wouldn't have started this process or I would have researched my options better. So I'm headed there now to pick it up and I'm just really hoping that it came out awesome. You know, my concern is that even no matter how good of a job they do, once you put something vinyl wrapped next to the chrome tank, will it still look good? You know, the part on its own may look okay, but when you're side by side with the metal chrome tank, I don't know if the vinyl is gonna look good. Uh, that's the first issue, so we'll see how it comes out. Uh, when you wrap something with the chrome vinyl, also there tends to be what they call like an orange peel texture to it. And that's just the way the vinyl is made so that it can stretch, but it gives kind of like a little bit of like a ripple effect on the finish. It's not as smooth as like a chrome finish. And then obviously the other thing is, as I mentioned, is just that they painted the, the front rim gold. And I left it gold now. I didn't have the wrap company make any changes to that. I figure I'll see how it looks on the bike. Uh, and then decide afterwards if I want to just paint it myself or do something different with it. So, we'll see. We'll see. So I'll be there in a few minutes to pick it up. And while it's way more expensive than I was expecting, hopefully it won't be a huge waste of money. Okay, so I picked up the headlight cover and I came out of the place to do the big reveal and I showed it to the camera on the front of the motorcycle, only to then find out that the camera wasn't on. So I'm back home, about to put it on and it's actually a couple days later, but I can do the big reveal now. And as you can see, as expected, they did a much better job than I did. Uh, if you look real close, in certain light, you can see a little bit of hazing from what I talked about working with Chrome is very difficult, but overall it came out great. I still don't know what I'm gonna do about this gold. Uh, we'll put it on the bike right now and then see how it looks. So on the headlight cover, we have these holes here that just go into the headlight mounting bracket holes and use the same bolt. Uh, actually, they gave longer bolts. I'm not sure if I'll need them. And then also on the bottom, there's two holes there, and it bolts into two holes that are underneath right there. So the first step using a 12 millimeter socket is to take off the headlight bolts and gently rest the headlight down. So next we just have to take off this fly screen here. And when I put this fly screen on, I made a modification to the bracket where I cut a slit in the bottom of the bracket. That way the turn signals, I don't have to unwire them. I can just loosen it and slip them off. So it should be nice, quick and easy. So just like that. And then do this side. And that's it super fast if you make that little modification. Otherwise, you have to actually open up the headlight and undo the wiring and pass all the wires through and back through again. Okay, so as mentioned, it's just this hole here, bolts right there to the headlight bracket and into the headlight. Uh, I went ahead 
and painted the bolts that they provided, the bolts and washers. And in addition, I do have these rubber washers too. That way, it would add a little bit of anti-vibration and just protection. I feel like tightening the bolts with the plastic to the metal, you might damage, scratch, or crack the plastic. So I'm gonna put these on. So I have the bolts, the washer, and then the rubber washer like that. Uh, but first I should probably put the turn signals back on while I have better access to tighten them. I like and that I wanted to was like I mentioned something just to kind of cover up this whole area which I think it does really well I need to clean there Can you handle that speed bump? I'm not sure how the headlight is pointing that's something I'm gonna have to test at night just to see where the beam is pointing if it's pointing too low all right, so taking it out for a ride, see how it looks. I think it came out pretty good, I like it, I like it. I mean, not $650 good, but I don't think it was a waste. It was very expensive, but I don't think it was a waste. I, I like how it came out, so I'm happy with it. Just try to ride around, get a few shots here. And the gold, I kind of like the gold. I'll tell you, it's not bad. came out pretty good I think it looks good you know like I said my big concern was how would it look this next to the tank the tank being you know a metal chrome and that just being the wrap and side by side how would they look but I think it looks pretty good I mean the chrome as I mentioned before you do have a little bit of what's called like orange peel texture you can see the ripples in it. Obviously very different than, you know, a chrome tank, which is just like a mirror finish. But overall, I like it. 